first one is conceptual intersectionality, and we need a much cleaner term for that before we go anywhere. More and more fields of endeavor and big ideas are working at the intersections of collections of thought. Seemingly incongruous enterprises, technologies, or knowledge areas are looking at each other in different ways and coming together to form different systems or products of knowledge based on the opening up of the possible by looking at intersections. Look at what has happened to many of the STEM sciences in the last 30 years. Look at what has happened to major industrial sectors over the past 20 years. Look at what has happened to other professional services organizations over the past 10 years. Look at what is happening in healthcare and human services right now. Disciplines are morphing. It is difficult today to define in any pure way biologists, chemists, or physicists as we used to know them. Industries are morphing. Can you tell me what a bank is that's different from an insurance company, a department store, a drug store, a grocery? How did a smartphone come from the intersection of technology and the arts? Professional services are morphing. In public accounting, traditionally, partners currently do what? Perform audits, do taxes, some do. And now most of them design financial systems and services, assess risks, do cultural consultation and change, and, and cultural and organizational strategy work, and design the business systems and organizations of tomorrow. Health and human services, as you well know, are morphing. Who is a therapist? Who prescribes drugs? Who educates our children? Who treats us when we're sick? As counseling psychologists, we see some of these changes, the intersectionality here, uh, the, this blurring, we see it as a loss of identity, a loss of members from our ranks, threats to our livelihoods, which at times, in periods of time, may be true. Rather than waiting to be absorbed, we could collectively seek out conceptual interfaces that would help us define ourselves better for the future. To some extent, this pattern of reform, reformed organized systems has always been so. But I would maintain that conceptual intersectionality has accelerated. 